We're going to argue that uh, hedging decisions of firms should not be made in isolation. You got to understand the supply chain you're part, you're part of, and whom you depend on. Uh, you depend on your suppliers, uh, you depend on firms that are downstream uh, and the markets uh, that you're selling to. And within that more complex system, you got to understand the role that hedging plays. Uh, that is what we call the supply chain theory of hedging. It depends on the nature of your products, uh, the nature of the markets you are selling, uh, the market power that, uh, or the power that you have within the supply chain, and who are your counterparties within the supply chain in deciding how are you going to hedge. That allows us to eliminate some of the weaknesses of the previous theory that the firm in isolation and in all cases makes all decisions. And our theory will seem to imply that for certain products, in certain supply chains, and uh, depending on the structure of those supply chains and the power that you have, sometimes you hedge and other times you don't. So uh, will allow us to give answers uh, to practices that we see out there that firms use, and we think they're using them effectively, but the current theory would have said that they shouldn't have been hedging, or situations where our firms are not hedging and the current theory would have implied that they should be hedging. So we have started providing a more complete picture I'm not going to argue that we answer all the questions, but we have moved one step forward, realizing that hedging is a much more complex issue and depends on the partners within the supply chain and their practices.